laser engraving. I hope you love this just as much as I do. Today I have the laser pecker too and I'm going to do some projects with this. Hi I'm Sarah, welcome or welcome back. Here on my channel I love everything creative and so I hope you enjoy. Let's go on into the video. We can engrave on so many different items and in this video I'm going to share my ideas with you. I have a logo to add to these products and look how quick, simple and easy it is. This is a black coated plastic lid and it produces absolutely beautiful results. There are so many items you could personalise like this, either as gifts for yourself or to make a little business out of. Different materials obviously engrave quite differently. This is a simple black plastic and you get quite a different but lovely effect with this. Do you have a special occasion coming up soon where you might need some disposable cutlery? You can engrave and personalise them with any message of your choice. These would be great for cafes and bakeries as well. The Laser Pecker 2 is super quick so it would take hardly any time to do a whole pack of these. Adding the personal and bespoke touch really adds a touch of class to any occasion. And hopefully you agree these look really cute. And why stop at cutlery? You can engrave your baking items as well. There are some preset items in the Laser Pecker app and these are really handy to use. Then there's also custom mode and you can note down all the parameters that you use for your different projects and keep a log of these as to what has worked. For this one I'm doing 100% and 25%. So like I'm doing, experiment with the settings and see what works for your items. This is just a bit of fun and you can do some designs on some cakes and some macarons and other items. Being able to also engrave on fabric is a huge plus for this laser engraver and opens up a whole world of opportunity for personalisation on so many different fabric items. As you can see I've also opened the Laser Pecker app up on my phone and controlling the laser through that. I love how easily this works and how it's turned out and I can't wait to do so many more fabric projects with this. I feel like you could personalise literally everything. Here I have one of my Red Rocking Bird pattern designs. And here's a little lesson, just make sure you always double check your parameters and you always get it 11 centimetres away from your item. I didn't do here and so I burnt a hole instead. Ah well, not to worry. This being a really good handheld laser option, I can laser my children's names into their clothes. Please don't do this on expensive items and always do a practice test first. Leather engraves fantastically and so that's what I'm doing with this little makeup bag. So why not engrave your purse, your belt and glasses case etc. While making this video, no item was safe and going to get away from me while engraving literally everything I could find. This box covered in fabric engraved really well and I'm really happy with the results. This laser really is super quick and easy to use. You can of course do any of these projects that I've shown you so far on a tabletop laser engraver. Here I have my rugby boot and I'm going to see how well I can engrave onto this. As you can see so far, most surfaces can actually be engraved. You just don't want to engrave highly reflective materials. Now I'm outside about to graffiti my garden. Only kidding, but it sure is possible. The wooden fence is my first contender to try out this handheld laser. And as long as you can get power to it, it really is as easy as that. So if you'd like to leave any little messages or decorate your garden, this sure is a way to do it. Stones, slate and pebbles really engrave well and make a fun little engraving project. Wood and timber is a really obvious contender for laser engraving, so let's engrave some logs. You could even add some messages on them before you put them in the log burner. I always recycle our lollipop sticks and pop them in the dishwasher to clean them. And these make really great garden labels. Personalise them as you wish and make them look really professional. The engraving is permanent so there's no washing off of the ink when you've done it with a pen. 
I have a lovely shape here to engrave on my wooden disc. This project shows you that you can engrave at different depths into the wood. With this I set the depth at 30 but always stay nearby with a bucket of water just in case it sets on fire as it's not recommended to go that strong with something that could be flammable. I've glued the engraved wood onto a cotton reel and I've rolled out some air dry clay. This makes a fantastic imprinting tool that you can use in lots of different craft projects. You can do logos and all sorts with this. With logos just make sure you do your design in reverse. And I'm sure you agree this turns out really pretty and you'll probably know from lots of my other videos I absolutely love my air dry clay projects. Once air dry clay is fully dried it can also be laser engraved at this stage. Here I'm adding my red rocking bird logo to the front of one of my pieces. You could do some lovely patterns and designs in this way or simply add some text. I have some stamp carving rubber that I'm going to try and engrave quite a deep channel of engraving so that we can get a nice rubber stamp out of this. The laser is really quite intense at this stage and you can see the flame and you can see it really burn black but it really is engraving really quite a deep channel. I'll wash this in some soapy water and have a go and see how it stamps. I think it worked okay and you can do lots of different designs with this. I have some other stamp carving material here, I'll link everything in the description below the video and I'm just testing out another design on this. This is a really intricate design that I would struggle to carve neatly by hand so the laser works really well. I want it that little bit deeper so I'm doing a second pass to make it slightly deeper then I can ink it up either using a roller brayer and some ink or the ink pads. Test it out on a piece of paper and press down firmly and lift to reveal your design. It takes a little practice to get an even ink covering but I think it would have been better if I'd have had it less intricate and less detailed and so have a go and see what stamps you could make. While we're doing some crafting items I thought I'd make a couple of cards and you can quickly and easily cut some thin card using these settings. Just make sure you put a board underneath to protect your surface as it will go through. And as quickly and easy as that I have some lovely neatly cut out lettering. As you can see through this video in a relatively short amount of time you can get so many creative projects going. As I say, do protect that surface underneath as the engraving is always permanent. On a low setting like this, craft foam also really engraves well and you could find lots of uses for this. Here I made a quick and simple birthday card. Cork engraves really well on the laser and this outline engraves in absolute lightning speed. With something small like this I found it difficult to place it in position under the orange guard right in the centre so I made this little grid to help me centre everything underneath the orange guard. I had a wine cork here and I simply took a knife and cut it into small pieces. I can place these on the grid and then do the engraving really really quickly just like this. There is a preview area normally but I find it difficult to see this through the orange. This laser pecker 2 works all through an app and on that app there's lots of presets and lots of designs you can use or you can import absolutely anything of your choice. These features let you begin straight away and start creating some beautiful engraved items. I'd like to make these into some keychains. Metal and jewellery can also be engraved. Here I have some costume jewellery, I wouldn't really do it on anything super expensive. To get a darker engraving, take a permanent marker pen or sharpie and colour in where you want the engraving to go. As with all projects, measure the size you need and add this into the software. Again, I can use my grid to make sure I perfectly position where I want it and I did a little test piece on this piece of stainless steel. Metal takes the highest strength of engraving so it's 100 and 100 and simply set it to go. 
and you can see it working its magic here. Take a soft cloth and remove the excess ink. It's left it a little dark, but as you could see with the stainless steel, a little more black appears on the stainless steel. Coloured glass etches really well on laser engravers, as you see here. Endless possibilities for personalisation. I have a few exercise pads and sketchbooks that I'd love to personalise and so this is possible with our engraving. This opens up so many possibilities to give some really gorgeous gifts. As you can see there are so many things we can engrave and I feel we've only just got started. So as this does paper, why not personalise some gift wrap? I had some boxes that I wanted to label and I'm showing you how I utilise this handheld machine and you can really take this anywhere. A little practice and I'll make it a bit more perfect next time. Or better still, bring the box down and do it on a steady surface. Such a great way to label our storage boxes. We can also label our stationery to stop it from going missing. The plastic barrel gives a subtle effect and the wooden pencils give a more defined look. Soon absolutely everything's going to have a name on it. I can sketch on Procreate on my iPad and send this directly to the laser and do any design of my choice. Just save the design into your photos and then upload to the app. You might be thinking that this laser engraver has a small area that it can only laser. Well, you can actually put it in trolley mode and laser for longer sections. Still 10 centimeters wide, but apparently up to five meters long. So on this laser, we'll be able to make wood signs similar to this. You can engrave most images onto your materials, including photographs. So here I'm engraving a photo of myself onto a little wooden coaster. This is just a piece of MDF and I'm testing it out on here. I let it do one pass and it wasn't quite dark enough so you can simply do another pass and see if that makes it a bit better. Then change the settings for the next time. I've also sprayed a piece of wood with some white spray paint and had a go at engraving the same image onto here. So what do you think? Acrylic works really well with a laser as well and I'll explore this more in some of my other videos. For a bit of fun we can engrave lots of food items. Here I'm doing a piece of bread. You can put some messages on and make some lovely sandwiches or toast for special occasions. The little chick on the front inspired me to get some eggs out. And without cracking the egg we can get some lovely engravings on the eggs. Give anything a go and these are some oranges for my kids pack lunches. All of these just for a bit of fun. So I hope this is inspiring you so you can see what you're going to laser next. It would be a lot of fun to do some personalised designs onto some cakes and so here I have some fondant icing. The laser really melts into the sugar so you have to tweak those settings till you get it right like with everything. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you lots of inspiration and if you are interested in buying this product I'll put the link in the description below but please just have fun and come back and see some more of my videos. Thanks for watching, bye for now.